Hi, I'm good. Good. Can you uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your business? Hi, so I'm Moya and I'm the social media manager for Shape Social, who are one of the Small Biz 100. Fantastic. Okay, so are you based here in Nottingham? Yes, we are. We're based in the Lace Market in Nottingham. And I heard you have a little mini workshop for us here at the bus store today. Very small, very rough and ready, but hopefully some useful tips. So I'm going to talk about um, the importance of handling complaints in the right kind of way on social media. So I think that a lot of businesses, especially small businesses, can be quite put off social media because they worry that they're going to get negative feedback and that it's going to damage their reputation. And I think. The important thing to remember is that social media is a public forum and if there is going to be negative feedback about your business, which hopefully there won't, but if there is, that's going to happen whether your business is on social media or not. So actually, the power of social media is that you can become a part of that conversation, you can maintain a bit of control over the things that are being said about your business and kind of manage the negative feedback that you are getting, if you are getting any at all. And hopefully as well, by handling it in the right way, turn maybe something that's not such a great thing into a really positive feedback. So if you handle someone's complaint in a really sensitive way, then you can completely change their mind about you and, and your business. So top tips for responding to maybe feedback that you don't particularly welcome on social media. So the first one is just to take a deep breath and not to respond in anger, because I think that as a small business, obviously, any complaints that, you're gonna, that you get, you're going to take quite personally because a small, as a small business owner, you're, you're quite invested in your business and it can, be, it can feel more personal than maybe a complaint to a, a larger business would. So take your time, step away and, and really think about what you're going to say before you respond um, and try not to take it too personally. Um, and the, second, <laughs> the second big tip I would say is if, even if you're tempted, don't delete any negative feedback because it will only make people angrier <laughs> and, um, and that's not what you want. You'll just pour fuel on the fire. So um, responding in good time is key so that people don't feel like they're being ignored and people don't feel like you're just dismissing their complaints. So uh, don't delete anything negative. On Facebook, you do have an option to hide comments. So if there's something that's really kind of keeping you awake at night, you can hide it so it's not deleted. But um, but whoever's posted it can, can see that it's still there and that you've responded. But other people who view your page won't. But you can't do that with reviews. So if you get negative reviews or negative feedback, I would say that the key really is to respond and be sincere. And I think really all that people want with negative feedback, in, in kind of very general terms, it's just an acknowledgement and an apology. And I think it's as simple as that, really. So I think really just replying to them, being sincere, um, and make sure that it's kind of heartfelt and they don't feel like it's like a copy and paste response that everybody is getting. Um, it's, that's really key. And I think finally, maybe to take the feedback on board, which I'm sure most businesses do anyway, but I think that especially if there are people who are complaining a lot about the same things, then um, showing that there's something that you're doing differently and showing that you've kind of acknowledged their, um, their messages to you is, is really great, a really great thing. Um, I think really the key thing to remember is that negative feedback isn't anything to be afraid of and um, that having a really clear strategy on how to deal with it means that you can really stay in control of your presence online and what people are saying about you. Um, and hopefully by showing that you're kind of listening to people and that you're kind of engaging with what they're saying, even if it's not great stuff, you're being kind of realistic about um, about what people feel about, about your business, which is a really great thing. And I think that people really appreciate that. And, um, and that would be my final, my, my right. final words. Oh, thank you so much. So, Shakes and are one of our Small Biz 100, and they're based here in Nottingham. Um, and they've put together a fantastic social media guide um, that's available on our website um, that gives you some tips about making the most about Small Business Saturday. So check it out on um, smallbusinesssaturdayuk.com and make sure you follow Shake Social on, what's your Twitter handle? It's at Shake Social, so you need to remember. Great, at Shake Social, check them out. Thank you so much, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.